Good afternoon. It is 11 o'clock. I have spent the last two or three hours unboxing everything out of these totes. It's a pain in the ass, but it's gotta be done. But yeah, there's just stuff everywhere, basically. That's pretty much my agenda today, is just to get all of this stuff done. I really wanna get the apartment situated uh, at least like, you know, like 90% before I start to work so that I don't have to deal with this, you know, for two months because I definitely will. If I don't unpack it all now, it'll just sit around for months. Hi, my name Andrew bringing over all of my shoes from Sager's and everything else that I have scattered around the state, city, whatever. Hey guys, like I'm not really doing much today. I'm not leaving my apartment. I'm just going to be here. Uh... There will be some unboxing, I guess. We'll see what these guys bring. There should be quite a few boxes coming over from Sager's, so we will take a look at that stuff. Don't expect too much today, because uh, I'm staying here. Domestic, domestic God today, for sure. For now, unpack. And all the unboxings. Empty. It's in the stacking properly. No, it's a small one right here. Yeah. Slide that one in. All right, the first stack is here. This is not even a third of it, I don't think, but the first stack has arrived. Piano has arrived. Got the piano, Mercy of the Light piano. Gonna do some more unpacking, wait for the boys to get back. Okay, uh, so now it's like three o'clock. Andrew and I would just dropped off probably most of the rest. They went back for one last load. This is what the room is looking like now. Literally, shoes everywhere. So yeah, but I gotta, um, I gotta empty these totes real quick because they're coming back to get them. So I got work to do. One more truckload to go. <laughs> Life is crazy. Okay, so the last of the collection has gotten here except for like 10 pairs maybe. There's 10 pairs at Rick's house. Rick's tomorrow and get the rink. All of my shoes are here. I think we're finally, we finally got them all here. So a uh, collection video will come soon enough. I still gotta unpack so much stuff, man. I got so much to do. Try and get all the stuff done. Uh, there's also this box. Well, the computer's in here, hold up. For all the things I don't have boxes for, everyone that's gonna ask, that came from an Adidas rep. I don't know how you would get one other than buying one. All right, so we don't have boxes for, or some of this stuff I guess I probably do, but who knows? All right, so these we got the Chinese New Year sample, a pair of colors that are worn, B balls, and Nikes. Those haven't been worn yet. Uh, human race. Another human race. XR1. Ronnie Fags. Samples. Porsche for the winter. Another human race. Gum pack. CS1, one Haven, one Pusha T, another Haven, another Pusha T. Uh, STs, almost time for these babies by the pool, son. And the building has a pool, so. Uh, oh, these are just the gray ones. 3.0 and 2.0 Navy. All right. That's all the shoes. Whew. Except for the few pairs. I don't know what's at Rick's. I can't remember. I know there's white Yeezys and whatever I unboxed at Rick's house. But also, there's all this. <laughs> so we gotta unbox all this shit too. Crazy. All right, it has been a day. But like I just said, we got these other boxes. Uh, Get my blade. Let's see, first things first. 
Don't know what this is. A pair of shoes, definitely. But. <laughs> it's in the box. <laughs> Great, I have all these empty boxes all over the place. Oh, parlays. Another pair. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. Brooklyn sent me these. Kian sent these. Kian, I'm probably saying it wrong. He's the homie. He knows I love him. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I'll double up. I got the white pairs coming too. Those my my guy got them a little late, later than Adidas anyway. Teddy, you started a wave, and I just figured I could help out a little. Hope you enjoy. Thanks, Avery. Is that a word? Oh yeah. Shout out to the homie Avery. Got me these. Got these on sale. Perfect. They are still sitting all over the place, but it doesn't bother me. Everyone's all like, MMDs are dead, Moose is dead. Blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. You know why it's not? Because Boost is not a model. Boost is a feature. That's why. There's a huge difference. Putting Boost on everything is a good thing. Making the same old shoe every fucking two years with no improvements, not a good thing. So, Boost ain't dying. It ain't never gonna die. Just get used to it. Um, I don't know who this is from. Oh, I think I know. This. I think this is another pair of flamingos. Yeah. So there's really no reason to even unbox. I kind of OD'd on these. I um, when I found a 16 that fit, my, they made my size and got two because I got worried. So there's two of these. Shazam! 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 They do have a little scuff like right out of the box though, look. Okay. Baby box. I think this is a Fitbit my man Mishka hooked up for me. Because I wanted a Fitbit a while ago when I was on tour because I wanted to see how much I wasn't sleeping. But I kind of want one. I don't really know the difference between this and an Apple Watch. But it gave me, got me the hookup, so no complaints there. Plays the Blizzy, the Blaz. Blase Blam from Adidas. This one's from Adidas. This is weird. It says Adidas Entertainment. What the fuck? This says HU on it. Do it possibly? Oh, I do know what this. I remember. Oh, there's a card. Hey. My first signature shoe, let me know what you think, with love from Pharrell plus Adidas. What? What? So, Pharrell sent these? Adidas ain't Pharrell. But it does say Pharrell, so that's cool. That's fire. Yeah, it's the hue. I heard about this, but I didn't know who they were coming from. That's crazy. So, it's not Boost, everyone's gonna comment it's not Boost. I haven't tried these on yet. This insole is squishy, but um, I'll give it a shot. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty awesome. Sent those out to me. But the hues with the yellow and the motherfucking white upper. So I've heard people say these are comfortable. The insoles might be squishy. So we'll give them a shot and give you an honest review. Thank you guys. Thank you, Pharrell and Adidas. Wait a second. I am so confused. This is from, oh yeah. I remember BBB ice cream. This is actually super sick. Billionaire Boy Club, I forgot. That's why the Pharrell's came. It's all making sense now. Okay. Nice. Via my man Heck at Private Label. Hiding. I know what this is. <laughs> the Adidas tennis ball. Another one in here. <laughs> here, though, is the BBC branded one, also. We got both. Man, shout out to the Billionaire Boys Club, Pharrell, Adidas, heck, everyone involved who gets me cool stuff. You guys are awesome. Sip some. Sip some tea out of this, for show. Sure. What a good day. What a great couple of days we're having. These are both from Aaron's. I know it's in those. 
Oh, these are all three from Aaron. So these next three boxes are all closed. They came from Rise when I was in New York. This fucking hooked me up, man. Like, got basically just a ton of stuff from them. Hey, where's the sample? But yeah, I'm not gonna go through all these clothes. It's just a ton of stuff. Like Rise has private label. I'll go through it as I, you'll see me as I wear it. It's a ton of shit in three boxes. But there's this box missing. There's the box, the sample, um, the sample, whatchamacallit's not here. Um, okay, I just had to do some investigating because I was really, I had no idea where that shoe was. And it's a big deal because I haven't paid for it yet. So um, I was looking for the A16 sample. I called Sager and asked him to double check at the shop to make sure that they're there because I got pretty scared and they are there. So I'm gonna go tomorrow and pick those up along with the rest of my stuff and along with a bunch of other shit. That's pretty much the day, man. There's, um, I, there's stuff everywhere right now. Like I don't really know where to begin with all of this. Uh, shout out to everyone that helped me get shoes. Shout out to Pharrell and Adidas and BBC and Private Label and everybody, man. Life is fucking cool right now. It really, it really is. Like getting this new apartment and getting love from Adidas and Pharrell and from you guys and having the channel go up and we're almost to 100K and seeing this collection that I've amassed in less than a year, like it's just cool. I guess it's been over a year now with the shoes, but um, we're coming up on the anniversary of the vlog. It's July 5th. There's a Denver pop-up on the 25th of this month. Um, just, man, just a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff came from just turning on a camera and exposing my life to you guys. And I honestly don't know if I could be happier. I, I, you know, everything's cool, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm stoked. Thanks. Okay, so let's talk about a shoe real quick. Because I wasn't even gonna talk shoes today, but I uh, went and put these on earlier and I decided that I needed to talk about this Ultra Boost because this Ultra Boost is probably the most slept on, like I really mean it this time, the most slept on pair that I've seen in a long ass time. Like these are slept on. If these came out and they were called, if, they, if these came out as a Kith collab because they have the pink in them, everyone would be losing their mind. I 100% think that's true. So this Ultra Boost that came out, and it came out with a lot of stuff, and I know a lot of people aren't sleeping because they don't like it. Jesus. A lot of people aren't sleeping because they don't like the shoe. It does come down to money sometimes, I get that. Um, but some like people on the internet were talking shit about this pair. And this pair is so, so, so fire. Like this shit is sick. This is what the shoe looks like. We gotta do the double, the double rotation of the shoe. Yeah, fam. This Ultra Boost 3.0, I don't know the official color for it. Um, I would call it Salmon Breeze. I feel like they already have a shoe called the Salmon Breeze. Is that like a girl colorway? I don't really know. But anyway, 3.0 Ultra Boost, you have a medium cool grayish upper with basically flamingo pink digitally peppered in because it's the 3.0 Steve's. Really, really like just beautiful colorway. It's all one shade of gray except for there's a little bit of light gray up in the toe box area and a little bit here and there in the upper and then basically just the pink, pink lace tips and the pink PK goes all the way to the back. You have a pink insole. Obviously, I'm, I'm digging the pink. Um, really, it's just the pink and gray. Even in tattooing, like I love the combo of pink and gray together. It's one of my favorites. Um, Boost, an even cooler gray heel cup with all silver Ultra Boost branding. I always have to check now because sometimes they're different, but all silver Ultra Boost branding. Uh, gray laces that match the upper. Like I said, pink tips before. Translucent cage. So it's a regular 3.0 Ultra Boost, but this color combo is just nasty. Like this is just a fucking sick ass colorway. I would say for me, this is a must cop and you could probably still find these sitting. I don't know for sure, but I imagine Adidas stores probably still have pairs of these because they did not fly. If I'm wrong, I've missed it, then I'm wrong. And that's why I say people are sleeping, but 
Man, it's this shoe. This is a great, 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 great shoe. This is probably one of my top 3.0 colorways. I don't think it should be a struggle to get these. If anyone is reselling them right now, they're not high. Currently, oh, pink torsion system too. And look at that gray continental sole. Damn, shit is butter. So, but yeah, that's the shoe. You should get them if you like them, because <laughs> I like them a lot. Dope ass shoe, man. Uh, slept on Ultra Boost 3.0s, Salmon Breeze. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow.